Hello. In this video, we'll be going over the installation of the field bus access component uh, in the Link software suite on the displays and in the virtual machine. Um, so let's start by moving. So here we're on our support site. Um, and we're going to start by selecting software and then Link software suite. And we are going to download two different files. One is this patch field bus access 1.0. Um, depending on the timing that you're watching this video, we may increase the, the version number if we discover bugs or we add new features. So if it's not 1.0 and it's something above that, then uh, download the latest version. Um, so I've already gone ahead and done both the downloads to save some time. So, but download this and then you're going to download the runtime for the display that you're using. So in the case of this video, I'm using a VA display and um, I'm going to go ahead and download. Well, I've gone ahead and downloaded that here. Um, okay. So, and you can see, I also have my virtual machine open here. So, the next thing I'm going to do is in my Windows machine, I'm going to just go to my download folder, grab the two files, and I've created a shared folder to the virtual machine on my desktop here. Um, if you don't know how to share files between your main computer, your main Windows computer and the virtual machine, there are tutorial videos up on that in the links software page. So go see those. Um, in this case, I assume you already know how to do this. Uh, you could also just download it within the virtual machine as well. And you don't need to take this step. So I have a, a folder here in my virtual machine, I'm gonna just submit or copy those two files over. And in my virtual machine, I'm going to come into my shared folder and I should see the VA, the Lynx base VA in the patch. So I'm going to go ahead and install. We need to install the patch in the virtual machine and we need to install this Lynx base runtime VA device on the device itself. Um, so we could, if you want, just double click the patch and it's going to tell you it's going to attempt to install so verifying archive integrity it asks for the password for ccs so the password is default d-e-f-a-u-l-t um so as we've talked about before uh ccs password default on the displays the username is root password sus root so we see here uh, installation complete. It's installed these. Press return to close the window. Done. Okay. So we've installed successfully in the virtual machine. Next, we're going to copy this over to the display. So I'm already connected to the display and my IP address is 192.168.0.2. Um, if you don't know how to connect to a display, please go see our other videos on connecting to the display uh, via your Ethernet connection. Um, and also sharing files between the virtual machine and the display. So right now I'm going to use the SCP command, which we've created, or which I've created a, a video tutorial on, on this command. Um, so I won't go over exactly what it does. I'm going to do SCP links base and I'm going to copy this over to the display. So 192, actually I'll do root at 192.168.0.2 and I'm going to put it in the opt directory. So it asks me for the password, sus root. Uh, it gives me a status here, so it tells me I'm now complete in copying. Now I'm going to log into the device with the Linux terminal, go to the opt directory, 
and we'll see this Lynx Base VA device here, which we just copied from this. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the display by typing period uh, forward slash and then Lynx Base VA run. Okay, so it is installing. So we can see uh, it's installing an updated environment for Qt. So we're installing uh, the Qt 5.3, 5.4 runtimes. With that, it's also installing an updated database, uh, the field bus success runtime. So we go through something very similar to what we went through when we installed it in our virtual machine. Um, you know, it updates a lot of components, but it takes a second, but it looks like it is now finished. So we have now installed uh, the links, or the, I'm sorry, the field bus success on both our virtual machine and in the display. In future videos or in the next videos, we will go over how to use Field Bus Success within the virtual machine, deploy it to the display, and actually hook up some canned messages. So tune in for those videos. Thanks.